Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation on enhancing language learning through critical thinking instruction, a study of syllabus design, combining TBLT and DDL. So basically, I, I wanted to design a syllabus that could also take part in combating global issues such as climate change and other 60 UN SDGs. Let's dive in. So what do these abbreviations stand for? TBLT stands for Task-Based Language Teaching and DDL stands for Data-Driven Learning. Based on Anthony's definition of approach and method, I categorize TBLT as the approach and DDL as the method because DDL will be utilized inside TBLT approach. In a nutshell, TBLT focuses on using authentic materials in real world and it makes the classroom environment more communicative for students. Meanwhile, TDL uses corpora, such as Sketch Engine or British National Carpus, to help students discover linguistic patterns and structures. In the context of this study, qualitative research synthesis was deemed most suitable as it allows a comprehensive exploration of TBLT and TDL. Snowballing technique was used to help elaborate the result of the keywords done in a previous step. There are 25 studies in total to synthesize all these articles or journals that will be discussed in the next slide. The years for the journals and articles were also customized, ranging only five years, from 2017 to 2022. Based on the conclusion of the literature review, this study resulted its own frameworks, their origin to assist the researcher in developing the final syllabus design. Willis TBLT framework was chosen because it is the most sophisticated and most detailed promotes successful language learning for ESL or EFL context. So here are the findings that represent the overall result of uh, positive experiences in learning the language with TBLT and DDL. Both TBLT and DDL foster the development of language skills and non-language skills. As we've seen in slide five, I adapted the JSO definition of critical thinking and TBLT and DDL have some kind of similar um, characteristic that actually promotes critical thinking instruction. Thus, I had to find a type of syllabus that sustain or support this alignment. And I found an analytic syllabus proposed by Jordan on Long. And after that, to make it more appropriate for my final syllabus design, I need to create or mix this type of syllabus with other type of syllabus. Before we mixing the, the syllabus, analytic syllabus that we discuss, I needed to kind of break down what analytic syllabus is all about. Basically, all these things from holistic samples until focus on form are the things that I need to create the final syllabus design and after mixing it, after looking for the literature review results, uh, I came up with this uh, overview of the final syllabus design process from needs analysis, objective syllabus type, and then mixed syllabus methodology, including the assessments. And there I have the final uh, design of the syllabus that I want to create. And at the end of this presentation, I will show you the, uh, the glimpse of a uh, syllabus that I have uh, created. After that, there's no uh, use if we just create a syllabus, but it's not going to be implemented in the classroom or the actual teaching. Therefore, I illustrated uh, the process from the syllabus design into the actual teaching in the classroom. I cannot go uh, further with, with this process because um, due to the, the limit of time that we, uh, we are given in this uh, quick fire presentation. Now I'm going to show you the uh, cover of syllabus design that I created. This is basically an um, English course that I created, English for Indonesians because I'm in addition. And then um, this is the cover and also the, the first page of the first meeting of the syllabus. We have uh, the meetings, the, is it the first, second, and the unit if we uh, take the uh, workbook and then the vocabulary, the uh, including the assessment and the duration of each class, each meeting. And then here's the thing, remind you that uh, I adapted the uh, Larson Freeman and Anderson's uh, DDL class. So this is how they uh, create the uh, the activity based on DDL. So after the syllabus, I know how to implement the DDL, the corpus. I need to create a lesson plan that 
tell the, the teacher how to teach this lesson with TBLT approach and GDL method inside it. So here's the example. We see the, the word uh, that relates to climate change, such as renewable. And then here's the thing that they need to search on British National Corpus. This is the reference for all the things that I have uh, presented on this presentation. I hope that TBLT and DDL um, support critical thinking and students not only just learn the language, but also the action that we need to take betting the climate change because we only have one home and one planet here. So all of us need to get involved with this uh, fight. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.